we provide a service for ladies who have a primary diagnosis of personality disorder. We support ladies from all over the country and we take ladies that are 18 plus. The Signet AC Clinic is located in Chesterfield near Derbyshire. Um, we have close links with transport, so we're close to the M1 and train station for family visits. We're closely located to Sheffield and Meadowhall. We've got a college and a leisure centre and bowling alleys and horse riding within a short distance. The primary diagnosis that we work with is emotionally unstable personality disorder. Patients with emotionally unstable personality disorder would typically present with um, self-harm and suicide risk as the main uh, factor that brings them to us. They also have struggles with low mood, anxiety, uh, voices and sometimes comorbid uh, depression and psychosis. We deal with ladies who have had very, very complex trauma histories, very difficult experiences through mental health services as well and what, trying to provide services that think a little bit outside of the box rather than just standard ways of treating uh, personality disorder, being novel in our approaches um, and trying to help them overcome those traumas and get a better life for themselves when they leave here. Um, and working with their families as well is, is an important part and an enjoyable part of what we do um, on a day-to-day -day basis. At Cigna Acer Clinic we have a salon which the ladies can use for therapeutic activities. We have an ADL kitchen where they can practice their cooking skills and engage in activities. We also do lots of fundraising, so lots of bake sales um, and things like that. We have a dining room and a lounge where patients can relax and socialise with each other and every bedroom has got an ensuite facility. We have a large garden at Signet Acer Clinic where the ladies can access it 24 hours a day. We do have a staff member allocated to the garden so if a patient gets up in the middle of the night and wants to access the garden they can do so. The MDT at Signet Acer Clinic consists of the medical team, the responsible clinician and specialty doctor. We have the psychology team and the occupational therapy team and then the nursing team. DVT is a um, intervention that we use here at Signet Acer Clinic. It stands for Dialectical Behavioural Therapy. Um, and it involves four modules, which is mindfulness, um, emotion regulation, distress tolerance and interpersonal effectiveness. All of those different modules build on different skills that our service users can use to cope with day-to-day -day life and some of the struggles that they might experience that relate to their diagnosis. We have a DBT informed skills group. Um, we've got another group that focuses on relationships and building and sustaining healthy relationships. Um, but also a mindfulness group because the ladies love mindfulness. Here at Cigna ASA Clinic uh, I oversee the occupational therapy department uh, which consists of myself, another occupational therapist, uh, two therapy coordinators uh, and a OT support. In-house uh, we're always looking at daily living skills so we're working with patients that want to maintain the skills but also patients that want to develop skills and, and set goals around that so it could be cooking, baking, uh, daily living skills in personal care, health and hygiene, coping skills, uh, so we've run groups that have included um, sensory strategies, healthy living groups, budgeting groups and a number of groups that are very patient led as well so we're always developing and adapting to the needs of the patients. We run a group called Recovery Through Activity and it's based on exploring uh, activities and occupations and the benefits of long-term effects of engagement. Uh, so we've been really successful and, and patients have previously enjoyed a number of theory-based sessions uh, that have been followed by community-based sessions. So that has been by visiting museums, uh, it can be green open spaces, uh, getting involved in voluntary work, horse riding, social activities such as bowling, going to the cinema, social meals out. Um, so really linking in with the community provisions that we've got. The aim of the service is to work with the ladies to ready them for independent living in the community and the way we would do that is by helping them reduce um, and manage their risk of self-harm and suicide that they're able to function in the community without any major concerns about risk to themselves uh, when they return. 
We had a, a referral come in for a, a patient and we weren't sure whether we would be able to support that lady. So I went to, to have a chat with her and, and let her know what the ethos was at Signet Acer, what the expectation was and what that pathway would look like for her. She, she came to us and she'd been on one-to-one -one observations, enhanced observations for a long, long period of time. She came to Signet Acer and she really quickly progressed. She's now out living in the community. She's back just being a, a 20 year old girl back in the community, she's at college, she's meeting her friends um, and from where she came and the work that she put in um, is one of the real positives. At the end of it some, you may change somebody's life forever and help them reach that epiphany, that moment when they realise why they need to do something different and make that specific change in their lives. I think that helping them get to that epiphany that's when, when it happens it's beautiful to see it and that's that's one of the nicest things we have happen here